Good morning, friends, and welcome to today's time of prayer. I'm so glad you could join me to start your day centered on Jesus. My name is Michael, and I'm honored to be your prayer guide on this beautiful new day full of promise and possibility. Here on the Jesus Daily Prayers channel, we gather as a community to lift up our hearts, needs, and gratitude to God each morning. There is no better way to begin your day than with intimate conversation with our Heavenly Father. Through prayer centered in Scripture, we receive the spiritual nourishment and strength needed to thrive throughout the day ahead. In our time together, we will thank God for the gift of a new day, ask Him to renew our spirits and guide our thoughts and actions. We'll also pray for empowerment and protection over the tasks and interactions ahead. As we consecrate this day to the Lord in prayer, we invite His dynamic presence into every moment. The Bible reminds us in Psalm 5 verse 3, In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. God waits ready to hear from us each new morning. No matter what responsibilities, challenges, or relationships this day may hold, we can confidently release them into God's supreme and loving hands through prayer. As Matthew 6 verse 34 instructs, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Morning prayer provides the chance to surrender any anxieties or concerns to the one who knows all that is to come. We enter into his rest and walk in expectant faith. So let us begin this beautiful morning grounded in God's word and dependent on his spirit. May our hearts and minds be open and receptive as we start this day together centered on Jesus in prayer. Heavenly Father, we exalt and praise you as the glorious God who reigns over all. Thank you for the precious gift of this new day overflowing with promise and possibility. We know that today's hours are a blank canvas upon which you will create something beautiful as we walk in your will. We consecrate this day to you now, asking that you would guide our every thought, word, and deed. Lord Jesus, as we begin this day, we first pause to acknowledge our need for you. We cannot live a moment without the sustenance only your Spirit provides. We confess our inadequacy and ask you to renew our souls and minds this morning. Strengthen and inspire us for the tasks and relationships ahead. Fill us with your peace, joy, wisdom, courage, power, and purpose. Protect us from temptation and evil. Equip us through and through to walk in a manner worthy of your name as we represent you today. Holy Spirit, we invite you to take control of this day. Lead us to where you want us to go. Help us speak what you want us to say. Remind us of your truth and grace when we feel weak or uncertain. Keep our feet on the path of righteousness. Please make your presence obvious in our lives today, guiding us into greater intimacy with you and discerning your will in all things. Faithful God, we also lift up to you the specific needs and challenges we face this day. Please grant provision healing, guidance, and breakthrough in each situation. Flood every difficulty with your magnificent light. We choose to fix our eyes on you above the surrounding storms. You are able. Thank you for hearing our humble prayers. We praise you in advance for the ways you will demonstrate your faithfulness today. To the praise of your glory, amen. Let's reflect on this beautiful related passage from Lamentations 3 verse 22 to 24. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. What incredible reassurance this passage provides for starting our day rooted in God. As faithful as the sunrise, his mercies and love are new every single morning. Yesterday's grace is past and a fresh supply awaits us today. This allows us to rise each day with joy and hope in our good God, ready to receive all he desires to pour out. No matter what happens throughout the day or what unforeseen challenges arise, we can stand on the firm foundation of God's steadfast love and daily renewable mercies. He is our portion and the source of our help, strength, protection, and peace. As this passage says, when God is our supreme inheritance in life, our souls can find certain hope in Him. His compassions have no limit. They are guaranteed to be new at sunrise each day for the rest of our lives. What a precious truth to carry in our hearts as we begin this day in prayer together. Dear friends, 
I pray that dedicating this morning to God in prayer has ignited your soul with the strength and grace to thrive throughout the day ahead. It is such an honor to start our hours centered on the eternal instead of the momentary. I want to offer some additional encouragement as you go about your day. Remember that the Holy Spirit lives within you. So whether you are driving in traffic, sitting at your desk, running errands, or having conversations, you are never alone. Pause at times to recognize His presence. Trust God fully with the unknown details of your day. Refuse anxiety and believe that He is working everything together for good because you belong to Him. Fix your eyes on what is noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Philippians 4, verse 8. Don't allow negativity or trash into your mindset today. Look for opportunities to be a light in someone's day through kindness, patience, gratitude, care, or simply a smile. Be the sunshine. When challenges arise, respond with prayer instead of impulse. Make space to discern God's voice. Walk in confident humility. Remembering your worth comes from Jesus alone. You are deeply loved. Here are some additional biblical truths to mediate on today. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 6. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, Think about these things. Philippians 4, verse 8. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, verse 27. Do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God. Philippians 4, verse the 6th of May. These words strengthen and equip you to exemplify Christ in your thoughts, words, and actions today. His truth is our firm foundation. Heavenly Father, thank you for your faithfulness and love which never ends. Thank you for meeting us here this morning and ministering to our hearts. We now offer this day back to you. Take our hands and lead the way. Take our feet and guide their steps. Take our mouths and speak through them. Take our minds and fill them with your peace. Take our souls and revive them with your spirit. We are yours, Lord. Use us for your glory. Thank you in advance for the ways you will amaze and break through on our behalf today. We choose to walk in expectant faith, keeping our eyes fixed on you. May your joy be our strength as we abide in your presence amidst any storms that may come. You are our refuge and hope. We release all anxiety over the future or regret over the past into your capable hands. This day is a gift from you. Empower us to rejoice and make the most of each moment, living purposefully for your kingdom. As we close this morning in prayer, we ask you to bless every person listening today. Carry them through the hours ahead and renew their strength when they grow weary. Provide for every need. We lift up your hedge of protection around them. May your favor, wisdom, and discernment flow freely. Remind them often of how cherished they are. Friends, it has been an honor to start this new day with you centered on our Lord. I pray that our time together has provided fuel and focus to reflect Christ in all you do today. Please take a moment to like this video if it had an impact and subscribe for more encouraging prayer sessions. I aim to be a consistent source of spiritual nourishment. Also feel free to share any comments or prayer requests below. We can stand in faith together for breakthroughs. I look forward to praying over your needs and interacting more in the future. Let's be bless one another as part of this thriving community, lifting the name of Jesus high. God bless you all richly. May his presence sustain you and his peace reign over your thoughts. Let us walk in the confidence that he who began this good work in us will carry it to completion. Go shine bright for Jesus today. Until next time, my friends.